Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be continuing with my top 200 drugs series with our last presentation in the series, part 12, miscellaneous drugs. We'll be looking at what the drugs are for, their generic and brand names. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So just to give you an idea of what we'll be covering in this presentation of miscellaneous drugs, I've tried to group the remaining medications in some sort of order. Um, first we'll look at medications known as DMARDs, and then there are congestion and cough medications, and then finally it'll be the remaining medications on the top 200 drug list that really don't go with others. So first we'll look at the DMARDs. These are the disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs. Now, DMARDs are not a group of chemically related drugs, but they are all drugs that are used in rheumatoid arthritis treatment to help um, preserve joints by blocking inflammation. First, there's hydroxychloroquine, brand name is Plaquenil. This is actually an anti-malarial drug used in the treatment and prevention of malaria, but it is also used to decrease pain and swelling in autoimmune diseases, including rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. Then there's adalimumab, brand name is Humira. This is a tumor necrosis factor or TNF inhibitor for inflammatory conditions of the body, including rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. And last in the DMARDs is methotrexate. Um, brand name is Trexol, and there are some others, but a lot of times this is just seen as methotrexate, no, not really written as a brand name. This works by inhibiting dihydrofolate reductase, which prevents folate from being converted to its active form. This interferes with the cell's DNA replication and repair, and it especially affects rapidly growing cells. This is why it's used in the treatment of certain cancers, and it's also used in the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, but the mechanism, how it helps with the arthritis, is unknown. Next are a couple congestion and cough medications. First is guafenicin, brand name is Robitussin or Mucinex. This is an expectorant that thins mucus to help loosen chest and throat congestion. And then there's benzonitate, brand name is Tessalon Pearls. This is a cough suppressant that makes the cough reflex less active by numbing the throat and lungs. And then just there are a few remaining medications on the top 200 drug list. First is alendronate brand name is Fosamax. This is a bisphosphonate that slows bone loss. It's for the prevention and treatment of osteoporosis. Then there's finasteride, brand name is Proscar or Propecia. This is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor that decreases the hormone DHT. It's used for enlarged prostate uh, or BPH, and that's what the Proscar brand is generally marketed for, and it's also used for hair loss, and that's what the Propecia brand is marketed for. Then there's Fentermine, brand name is Adapex. This is a sympathomimetic amine that causes release of norepinephrine, which reduces the hunger sensation and suppresses the appetite. It's used for weight loss, and I noted here that it is a DEA Schedule 4, so it has some abuse and dependency potential. And then there's oxybutynin, brand name is Ditropan, that's a tablet form, or Oxytrol is a patch form. This is a urinary antispasmodic that blocks acetylcholine, which causes reduced bladder contractions, and it's used for overactive bladder. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you. And up next, we will begin a new series uh, with our top 200 drug video flashcards with audio, and we will be reviewing the medications that we've done in this series. So we'll start with part one, cardiovascular drugs. Thanks for watching.